Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlord and today I'm going to be showing you where you can find two glitch chests in Skyrim Remastered. Now these chests are pretty awesome, you can actually get unlimited items and unlimited gold from using this technique. And also before we get into the guide, I would like to thank my friend Iso or Danny, as I wouldn't have known about this glitch if it wasn't for you. His link will be in the description, please follow over and go and subscribe. Anyway guys, let's start it off with the first chest right here. Getting straight into it, go into your map, and we want to go to the far left hand side of the map to find this place right here, Markarth. I believe that is the way, correct way to say it, I am very sorry if it's not. But yeah, it's on the very far left hand side, and once here we want to go down these stairs in the front entrance of Markarth. We want to keep on going past this little horsey, and across this wall just jump over it. And then you will see that there's actually a bridge on your right. We want to continue down this little hill right here. And there will be one more bridge. And this is pretty much where the glitch is. Right next to this signpost right here will be a stone wall. This one right here. And what we want to go and do is go along it. Just looking down directly at the floor. Just going up and down until we see the notification like the one on screen right now. Saying press A to search chest or press X to search the chest. And like I said guys, this chest is full of amazing things such as weapons, items, generalized items, potions. Um, pretty much anything really. It's just kind of a randomized thing. Each time you go in there's always something random inside of it. Now, if you do want to use the most out of this glitch and reach its full potential, what I would say is loot everything from the chest as, you know, you won't get a bounty or anything like that. It's all free to take. What you want to do then is leave the area, just wait a couple of hours, maybe about 12 hours, come back and then do the exact same thing again. It's a pretty awesome, very easy to do glitch. Anyway guys, let's move on to the second location that you can find this glitch chest. And that location is the very snowy area of Dawnstar. It's actually pretty simple to get to, but I will show it on the map for all of you have, who have not actually discovered it just yet. And uh, I would recommend, if you have discovered it, fast travel there, as you will be in my exact location. So there is right there at the top north kind of side of the map, right next to the big C. And what we want to do once here is we want to turn right and you should see a couple of buildings to your right hand side, such as the brewery and the Jarl's house, I believe. And um, yeah, even kind of a smelting area. And just after that little area should be a mine right here. And we don't want to go inside it, don't worry about that. We actually want to go to the left hand side where you can see these two rocks right here. And the chest is actually secretly placed right here. So it should be somewhere around about here. It will take a little bit of time to show up, but you guys will get it in the end. Let's just have a try. Okay, so there you go, I've got it, and I'm inside it now, and there is all of the items from this chest. And, like I said, typically, I actually find that this chest has more, kind of, better items, I guess you could say, uh, compared to the other one, but I guess it's all randomized sometimes, and uh, it just depends on what you actually get. Anyway guys, that has pretty much been it for this very quick and easy glitch guide. Once again, I would like to thank Danny for showing me how to do this. His link is in the description. And guys, make sure that you sub to me for more Skyrim guides in the future and pretty much by daily. Anyway guys, have an awesome day and until next time, I've been Starlord. I'll see ya!